everyone welcome to the course of computer network specifically for the gate purpose in this lecture we will discuss about the checksum method checksum method is used for error detection not for error correction that is used for error detection only means receiver receiver will detect the error and that just inform the sender that please resend the frame okay so this is used for error detection this method checksum error check checksum method okay let's see what we will cover in this lecture i will introduce you with checksum how checksum algorithm actually works and then we will calculate checksum with one example okay okay let's start with uh, working of checksum algorithm how checksum algorithm actually works this is actually how checksum algorithm works here is the sender here is a receiver we need to send the data actually data with checksum bits we will send data with checksum bits from sender so that receiver can detect if there is any error or not these checksum bits will help the receiver to check okay if some error is occurring or not okay so this is the procedure how actually how actually checksum algorithm works these are all the steps performed at the sender side and these all the steps performed at the receiver side so at sender side we have data we divide the data into chunks actually we divide the data into equal size chunks here and uh, then we sum together all these chunks of data then we sum together and then take the complement of that once complement of that then we get the checksum bits these checksum bits are added with data and passed to the receiver then receiver also again uh, divide the data into chunks and then sum together all those data chunks after summing together that also takes one complement and if the all the bits after one complements are zero means there is no error uh, data is accepted and uh, if all the bits are not zero that data is discarded means some error occurred so this happen at the receiver side okay this is how actually checksum algorithm works okay we will explain the same procedure with example that will be more clear from there before that let me tell you okay uh, i am taking one example to explain you how the things are happening at the sender side only i'm not talking about the receiver side i will also talk about receiver side but uh, let me show you the big picture of the checksum how to calculate the checksum okay the big big picture of that actually these are the main four steps are performed uh, in checksum so the first first step is in checksum we divide the data into equal size chunks we divide the data into equal size chunks so this is our data let's suppose this is our data this is the original data and then divided into equal size chunks see we divided into four chunks one two three four one chunk second third and fourth this is first point this is how checksum algorithm works actually okay we are calculating the checksum bits now in this okay so these second second point these chunks are typically of size 4 bits 8 bits 16 32 and so on so these chunks this is one chunk this is another this is another this is another these are these may be of 4 bit size the in this case this is of 4 plus 4 8 bit this is 8 bit this can be 4 bit chunk this can be 8 bit chunk this can be 16 bit 32 bit okay you can make any of them okay so we we can divide it into four chunks also we could divide in four chunks means four bits in one chunk and then we will use these chunks to generate the checksum bits okay but in this case we are dividing in this case we are dividing the data original data into eight bit eight bit chunks otherwise we can divide them into 4 bit 8 bit 16 32 and so on 64 and so on okay so simple we're dividing data into chunks the size of chunks may be 4 bit maybe 8 bit in this case that is 8 bit maybe 16 and so on okay third point check chunks are summed together then we sum together all the chunks so 
this one is this one this one this one this one all the four chunks one two three four one two three four are summed together and we get this sum this is the sum sum of all these four chunks okay so we sum together and after that take one complement to generate check some bits so take com one complement of there what is one complement simply flip the bit 1 to 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 1 to 0 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 so simply flip the bits so that will be the that will be the one complement and this is this is actually the checksum bits this is the checksum bits and we add these checks checksum bits these checksum bits are added plus with the original data so this is the original data that is added with checksum bits checksum bits are appended after the data and this is sent to the receiver okay then receiver performs some operation and uh, find out that okay if there is error in the data or not okay but here we find out that we calculated the checksum bits okay we calculated the checksum bits so this is the procedure to uh, calculate the checksum bits don't worry we will perform the same procedure again with next example with this example we will again calculate the checksum we will see complete procedure of how checksum algorithm works at both side at sender side and at receiver side in previous slide i show you how we created the checksum bits up to here we move up to here up to this point we do not i do not show you how receiver was working but here i will show you how sender is working as well as how receiver is working okay otherwise we have already gone through this picture but uh, i will use this data now to explain okay how this working is going on how the working of checksum algorithm is going on okay so this is the sender this is the receiver this is our data let me write here 0011 okay and we need to divide the data into actually equal size chunks equal size chunks we know that size of the chunk may be 4 4 bits 8 bits 16 so on let me divide this data into 4 bits chunks so i divide it into 4 bits this is uh, this is one one 4 bit chunk this is another 4 bit chunk so i divide it into two 4 bits chunks okay and after that sum together all the data chunks so let me sum together so this is first chunk of data 0 1 1 1 this is another one 0 0 1 1 let me sum together sum together 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 so 1 plus 1 is what is what is the value 0 but carry will be 1 and 0 plus 1 1 okay Again, now 1 plus 1 0 but carry is 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2 so the carry will be 1 here is 1 okay so this is how this is the sum of these two chunks we get the sum now we need to take the ones complement of this what will be the ones complement ones complement of this will be you simply flip the flip from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so this will be 0 1 0 1 so this is actually the check some bits check some bits okay we will add these check some bits with the data okay let me write here this is the data 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 this is data and uh, we need to add the checksum bits with it so that is 0 1 0 1 so i will send this complete code word to the receiver okay and at receiver side we will again divide these this complete code word this complete complete code word into into data chunks um, we are dividing into four four bit chunks so we will divide it into four bit chunks one is this and uh, other one is this up to here so we need to sum together all the data chunks 
at the receiver side so let me sum together so 0 1 1 1 another chunk is 0 0 1 1 another chunk is 0 1 0 1 let me sum together we know how to sum the binary numbers let me show you so 1 plus 1 will be 0 and that there will be one carry now add this 0 will this one 0 plus 1 is 1 okay now do this the same way here 1 plus 1 is 0 1 is carry now 0 plus 1 is 1 okay so 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 1 is carry 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 0 0 0 0 is 1 so this is what we get this is the sum of all the three chunks all the sum of one two three all the three chunks is this we get this sum and we need to take the complement of that one's complement we need to take one's complement we know what we do in one's complement we simply convert one to zero zero to one so here we all have ones so the one complement will be this zero 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 here okay after that i am checking this condition what this condition is if all bits are zero yes all bits are zero then string is accepted Th that means uh, there is no error in the data that means there is no error in the data no error but maybe if uh, there is one here somewhere then in that case we will discard but in this case we do not change anywhere in the data actually we we'll simply pass the same thing here that's why no error occur and uh, we will the, our data will be accepted there will be no error there will be, this will be passed to the receiver so this is how checksum algorithm is working these are the steps performed at the sender side and these are the steps performed at the receiver side okay okay you can also uh, verify that okay by changing one bit you can perform these operations and you will find out that you will stuck here you will come here and you will get some error means you will find some one here anywhere you will find one that that means you are having error in the data receiver will ask to the sender will re retransmit it by changing any of the bit here you will find out this thing okay okay let's move on Okay, that's it about this lecture. Thank you.